Hello everyone, so this week we're going to be taking our friend James for a quick trip on the bikes around our local village of Alpadrina. We have some irrigation problems, which I'm going to fix. We're also doing a bit of work with these giant yuccas. And I'll be showing you how to make these fabulous scotch eggs, nick sized. We also try and finish off uh, breaking all this granite out to the correct level, just to make James happy. And we have a little bit of R&R on a, on a lake called the Val de Rossim. And we also do uh, some more block work for our friends Dave and Julie, just down the road. And uh, don't forget to watch this video all the way to the end for some fabulous shots of the Serra de Estrella Mountains in Portugal. So today I'm going to take the wonderful Sai Russia Komoda out for a little ride. And we're going up to Alpadrinha to show you the sights of our beautiful, beautiful little village. So here we are. And just racing on ahead on an Eliglide. Uh, first pit stop and this lovely mural on the side of the house depicting a shepherd with a sheep by the artist Styler. Just some of the uh, lovely views from the top of the village. You see, our, see our house over there, and this is the big school in the centre of the village. Monsanto way over there in the distance. So this is the big church in Alpadrina, the Egregia, Egregia Matrice. And it's a beautifully built granite place. So here we are at the Palacio de Picadero. I'll try and get further back so you can see the whole lot. Beautiful granite work, lovely big building. And the advantage of fantastic views. So we've got these series of, like, I don't know if you'd call them kissing seats or not really other. <laughs> Along the edge of here, it out, looks out over the village. Again, fantastic views. And it looks down onto the, the Shepherdies. Uh, we'll go down and have a look at that now. Beautiful clear mountain water. And this is the Shepherdies at the bottom. Good your Latin is, guys. So we are now at the uh, Bio Eco Market in Alpadrinha. Just come down from the Palacio de Picadero, and look who we find. <laughs> cooking, cooking fish, uh, which we're just about to sample from their lovely stall in the market. So yeah, tune in too 
put kids into a garden for an area. Hey, you got this stuff. <laughs> more stuff. More stuff from these guys. <laughs> Okay, so we have a problem with water down to the garden, the vegetable garden. Uh, this big pipe goes is gravity fed from a pond at the top. Sorry about my cock. And um, uh, this is the overflow that comes from the top of that pond. Yeah. So this isn't. Uh, this is empty at the moment. But uh, the problem is, I do believe this pipe is blocked probably here because there's hardly any water coming out the bottom. So this is where I get wet. Hans, can you hold my phone? This is where I'll stand back, yes. <laughs> well, it should be okay. I can always zoom in. Hang on. Oh, oh! How disappointing. It's not blocked here. That's interesting. Oh no! It must have had an airlock. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's not so bad at all. Oh, so no frogs blocking it then. It must have just had an airlock. Ah. Oh. <coughs> right, so we need to go down the bottom and check that that's uh, working then. <coughs> There's no need to be quite so far away. Well, Tr trust me. It could be messy. Right, so I think because I've got 75 mil reducing to 25, this uh, could well be a problem area. So what I'm going to do is take this one off, uh, clear the blockage, and hopefully I can get the end of this high enough up the step ladder there. Uh, for it to be above the level of the water at the far end. You know that. He is hoping. I think so. But what I think I need to do. Uh, is possibly disconnect this. Here. Oh, nearly lost that one. Mind you, that's not bad. But that's, yeah. That's pretty good there, it must be blocked in these pipes. I don't think we'll take that apart now at all. Oh, hang on. Oh, bit, oh. Of, bit of sludge. Okay, that's enough for that glue screw. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> no, it's definitely blocked, look. It's getting worse. Oh, yeah. Make it. No, it should be a lot better than that. Yeah. I think it's blocked. Just be like, ah, we can test where the level is. Here we go. I just thought about that instead of me climbing up with all that weight. So at the moment we've got a flow. I can get the end of it. Just that high. That so gives us about two meter head of water here, so it should, yeah, if I yeah. come down a bit, start flowing there. Look, yeah. there it stops, which means. Oh, hang on, I did kink the pipe there. Oh, behave. Yep. So if I oh. If I undo this here and I have problems getting it back on, as long as I can lift it that height, 
I can put it back on up there, yeah? Okay. I hope. I hope. Well, I'm standing here. <laughs> here goes. It's not waste for that. That's making some good noises. Yeah, lots of green stuff coming out. Oh, lots of nutrition. I can feel it getting heavier, there we go. Oh yeah. Yeah. Keep clear of flow. No yeah. school warning. Go. Pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Right. Oh, I can't see that. So I just need to reconnect it up there. <laughs> right, how are we going to do this if you want me to film? Or is this just going to be like a comedy of errors? It might be a comedy. No, it's right there, so yeah, I need to be up there. Um, <laughs> it's running down my arm. Right. <laughs> Hang on. Could you, could you just switch the camera off a minute and grab me that end? <laughs> One moment, please, viewers. Honestly. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. I said should be hard. That wouldn't be entirely true. No. Oh. No. Nope. Not gonna do it. Okay, here we go. This is what you call extreme pipe connections. Stunt plumbing. Now that's come undone. There's no pressure on that. I need to get this sleeving, which is why I put this. I'm just pushing the rubber seal in. <laughs> ah yes. Oof. Means you got the kink on that little pipe as well now. Right? You've got the kink on the little I know yeah. <laughs> Luckily <coughs> nothing's under extreme pressure. <laughs> Well, that's much better. See the difference? Yeah. Okay. Well done, darling. And not too moist. Not, not too moist. Pretty good. <sighs> okay, because this is continually going to cause us problems having a big reduction here. I'm going to try and get a fitting this afternoon when we go shopping to try and turn 75 into a T with two 40s coming off it. Because it's, uh, it's gravity fed, you need a bigger pipe because the pressure is lower, yeah? So a bigger pipe. So instead of 25 mil, we'll have 40 mil in a T. So one going that way to feed this bed and the other to do the, fruit, the soft fruits here. And then this is why this pipe was originally put in um, to sort out irrigation for when we finish, one day, when we finish the <laughs> raised bed here. Uh, so, let's go shopping. Mm -hmm. There's a little grunters. 
They look like they've been wallowing, which is good. They've got really good uh, area that they can go and lie in out of the sun. But because we were down here fixing the water pipe, they think that we're here to feed them. Yes. The dog and she. Yes. I got a lovely little piggy. And you are as well, Will. You're a lovely little piggy. So as you can see now, we've been shopping, I've got the 75mm, which the big black pipe is going to go into. That splits into two 40s. <coughs> I'm then going to put a tap on either end, so if we do have any blockage problems in this area, we can cut, turn the taps off, take the end of the pipe off, and unblock it from, from uh, here, you know? Easy stuff. So I'm just going uh, to show you the bits we have wow. <laughs> so we have that same on this end and a big one here so all these this is the PVC T so this PVC T joins to the other fittings uh, with, a, with a thread, yeah? Wherever there's a thread on water fittings, a fine thread like these, not, not a big thread like this. This is just for pulling it tight. The actual rubber seal inside here does the sealing. So wherever you've got a fine thread like these, you have to put PTFE tape on them, uh, polytetrafluoro ethylene, and the way it goes on is if you're going to screw something on clockwise you need to put your tape on clockwise the same direction so when you get a tail left over of the tape it, it's in the same direction as you're turning the thread so it won't come undone so I'll just PT the, this joint, PTFE this joint up a minute so there we go uh, all, the, all the threaded bits now are PTFE covered so we just need to screw them all together and nice and tight they need to fit okay same with all of these joints But you need to use plenty of PTFE. Two whole rows, rolls I've used. There we go. So they're all done. Now all, all I need to do is put the the black plastic pipe HTPE, the black plastic pipe between here, here and there like that, and then I can put more plastic pipe on from there uh, to make irrigation much easier. So as we said, we've been shopping, got the T bit all uh, fixed together now with the taps on and a bit of pipe. I'm going to go and fit it to the end of the big pipe. Okay, so here it is. Oh, it's heavy. I've got to somehow get that up there and undo it. Come on. 
Okay. Just a little bit like that, it's not going to hurt. Okay. So we've now made this uh, reducer redundant. Put all the joint back together a minute. Rubber seal, seal holder, and then. So as you can see, we're reducing down from that to that. <laughs> so now we're going from that to something like 40 mil, so it's much bigger. So what I'll do is, uh, onto this now, we'll add a length of pipe here to do all the soft fruit, which as you see with the shade netting is doing really well. And a length of pipe to do the raised beds. So I'll have to feed it out all the way up to there. As you can see now, I've connected the 40 mil hose to the T. And uh, we're getting quite a lot of water, water through now. It will reduce watering times by quite a bit, I should imagine. Hello everyone. I uh, just wanted to quickly show you this uh, removal of pups off this giant yucca. We love the look of it, but um, these pups are taking, so the pups mean the little bits that shoot up from the side. They're taking too much from this plant. Uh, we want to keep this one here, single one. And, it's, and it ruins access to the pool. So all you need to do is just take a sharp saw like this and just literally cut them off. This big one here, massive one. <laughs> and another little one on the side there. Oh, and another one. Didn't realise I had so many. Some broken dog toys. As you can see, we've already the uh, emptying of the pools in progress. I'm going to pull a few of these off from the bottom up, just to sort of tidy things up, really. These can go on the compost heap. Now. It looks like we've got loose where we took a pop off last time. We need to stop that happening. Cool. And this one here, we're going to replant this immediately. 
what we need to do is again strip these off off about well let's see you know I meant to my arm sort of uh, let me go for 600 mil two foot maybe Amazing, it smells like, I don't know, freshly cut grass or something. It smells very green. And we'll do that to the little pups as well. What we'll do is dig a little hole so deep where we want uh, this so deep where we want them. Uh, just a small hole, put them in the hole, uh, water them in, keep watering them for a couple of weeks, every couple of days, and they'll grow into this. So there we go, I think that's um little hole about the length of my arm well sorry not quite but that length uh, and there is about six foot tall as we speak time it goes in the hole will be about four foot um, I will need to prune this broom away but then this now will sit where we've been digging the granite away from this area uh, so when you look through the barn we'll have a wall here we'll have another tropical looking tree there should be lovely and stick this in the hole. Uh, put it at a jaunty angle. No, let's put it in straight. These aren't that sharp on the ends. Look. Yeah, we don't have a problem with them. <laughs> Moved it. So there we go. So I'll just trim up this room. Which to be honest is getting a bit big. So I'm just doing a twice nightly, you know, every other nightly yeah. task of uh, watering everything. And she will obviously water this now. We'll plant the other pups in a minute. Not this pup. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And we'll uh, eventually pull this rock away. I think we might have to split it in half again. And she'll be watering that as well. So another day spent at Dave and Julie's finishing off the top awkward bits around here. We've left this space out for a glue lamp beam to support the ceiling uh, in this room and in the next room. If you look at the ceiling, it's, it's a thin concrete. This, these are called Vegas in between Tijoleiro. Um It's just a basic small blocking beam concrete floor. Uh, and over the size of the building, as you can see, it's quite long. It's springing a bit, so what we've decided to do is put a beam in this room across here 
and, and in the other room as well. I'll just turn the camera around and show you. Yeah, so across this room, from that hole across, we're going to put a, a glue lamb beam, uh, which is like, it will be 300 mil, about a foot, by about 125, about five inches. So, and that will sit, this is the center line of the room. That will sit on this side of the center line. And then from the other side, oh yeah, from the other side, the, the beam that goes across this ceiling, which is a long way, up to the walls I've just built over here, seven and a half meters. Uh, what's that? 16, 20 something foot. I, I can't remember. Put it up on the. I'll put it up on the screen. So yeah, big beam going in there. So pressing on there. What I've done with these blocks, as I've built them, because they're hollow blocks, as I've built them, I've filled them in with concrete. All these are all filled in. So this is a solid column here for the beams to sit on. Yeah, and the same on this side. And this is um, this will be just like a utility room, three meters by three meters, something like that, ten foot by ten foot. Cool. Okay, so I've just got back from laying the blocks in Dave and Julie's, and here she is. What's she doing? You may remember we set a little challenge, didn't we? Yeah. With um, James and Christina from the, the Kinta. Kinta. So this is my turn now to do some. Um, what are these things called? Scotch, Scotch eggs, done. Scotch <laughs> eggs. I know. I'm just right. So we've got a load of um, pork mint. Okay. That I'm just dividing into six equal lumps. They're massive. Yeah. Okay, what's in that pork mince? Right, pork. Yeah. Mint. <coughs> no. Um, so we have sage, obviously salt and pepper, and... Some lumps of chorizo. So we have some bits of chorizo in there as well, just to give it a little bit, bit different. So do you think this is too much? They're huge. Yeah, but you'd like a good... There's no egg in them yet. No, I know. Okay. I don't want you going hungry, darling. So what Ange has here is six lumps of uh, pork mince with chorizo and sage and some salt, other salt and pepper, obviously. Uh, we have the eggs. We have breadcrumbs, a beaten egg and some flour. And lots of veggies. <laughs> Okay, I'm actually doing this slightly differently because we're going to try out our new toy, the air fryer. So uh, hopefully it'll <laughs> go okay. So all I'm going to do, squash out the meat, take an egg, a little bit of flour, because that just helps it to, to stay to the meat, in the middle, and then we wrap him around. Looks better than a shot glass and a, and a tea, tea cloth. And a dishcloth, dish cloth. yeah? Yeah. Well, hopefully it'll taste better as well. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to do all six of these in this stage first because it's a fairly messy process dunking it into the egg and then into the breadcrumbs. But that's a good sized Scotch egg, I do believe. Don't man you? size, man, man size. size. Yeah, Nick yeah, yeah. size. Okay, so that's six lovely sized scotch eggs so these are now i'm just going to give them a, a coating in flour and again i'll do all six first because it, otherwise i'll end up getting stuff everywhere so we'll just do a coating of flour on all of these right so now i've made nice big flowery look like big bonbon sweets so these get coated in the egg this is the messy bit and then into the breadcrumbs so 
So that's just the air fryer. Yes. Peeping. So we set the air fryer uh, for 20 minutes on 190 and it's just done its preheat so it's ready to go. So it's a little bit previous. Right, so that's that one there all covered. So it goes on here. And I should just do the other five now and then they're going to get a, a quick spray of olive oil just to help them crisp up as well. Right, so this is the last one. So as you can see it's a, a really uh, messy job but the results are well worth it. So just get this one all coated in his little breadcrumbs. few more on. So they're a little bit uh, squidged Large. in there. <laughs> Are you laughing at my scotch? Yes, I am. Right, I'm going to wash my hands. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I was going to say, I'm going to wash my hands because they're a little... I'm going to put them in the oven, yeah? No, I'm not going to put my hands in the oven. Okay. No, and... Let's <laughs> get some of the flour off me. <laughs> I'm a right mess. Right, so uh, this is our own olive oil. But I just put in one of these little squirty dispenser things. So we're just giving that a... They help them crisp up, yeah? Yeah. Okay, now I've got a request. Go on then. Just so everyone understands the size of these. What do you mean? I, could I... you please show everyone this normal sized egg next to them? I don't know what you mean, <laughs> darling. <laughs> So, preheat's done. There you go. Thank you. Right, I need to open that one up. Slide this one in. I'm Might too short. Maybe on this one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And see you in 20 minutes. Okay. Right, we've done a little bit extra time because with pork um, and you might have noticed they're quite big thick. quite big so we're going to do a temperature check on them a minute before I take them out properly Ooh. they're sounding good <laughs> so I'm going into a meaty bit and we've got oh it's going over 70 so that's actually completely fine uh, Ground, I mean it's just dropping now a little bit, yeah. but anything over 70 is, is fine for me. What's that Fahrenheit? 160. 160. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So let's take these little... Little? Right, we've got another tray to rest these on. Oh. We've got a bit of an explosion going on What's here. escaping? Right, so we're just, that's it, just about to have these for our tea now. Now, we're having these with some barbecued sauce, just as like a, a side. Uh, nicely served with either normal chips or fries. Um, sweet potato chips, fries. Um, or yeah, salad. or a salad if you're being healthy. So, I'll put... There you go, Nick, you, you can have the best one. I don't mind having the best one. I'll just start with one, I think, because I know you're a piggy wiggy. <laughs> so, but these, I'm really looking forward to eating right now, so we'll... Can we cut I, one in half? I'll cut one in half a moment. Right, so I'm just going to cut this one in half. It's nice and crispy. So, there you go. Look at that. So there you can see the little bits of chorizo and there's a bit of eggs to escape now, but uh, still nice and juicy. That's a good thing with the air fryer, it doesn't sort of dry it out, but it crisps it up lovely. So uh, yeah, looking forward to this. So this is the beautiful Val de Rossim uh, lake, I suppose you'd call it. We've all congregated here and having a lovely day in the sunshine, having a break from breaking granite. <laughs>
supposed to be on the board, aren't you? So that's all from us this week guys, uh, thanks for watching, I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Now we've got the irrigation sorted and we've watered everything, uh, we should be able to keep the vegetables going now into September, October. So they have a like second spring They have here. a second it's spring because uh, it gets too hot, like now it's too hot. So the watering we're doing now is just keeping stuff alive, nothing's really producing much anymore. Uh, well, apart from the pepper, the chilli peppers, we've got lots of little chilies coming Yeah, on, we've got so. lots of chilies. Hot, hot, hot. Hot, hot. So, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. And thanks for ringing, ringing out the little notification, notification bell. bell. Ding, ding. Thank you. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.